Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the app called Adobe Photoshop Touch. So let's get started. Okay, here we launch the app and you can see Photoshop Touch and here there's the in the main menu of the application. You can see there is tutorials as well intro. The app it cost $9.99 and the file size is 56.7 megabytes. And you can see at the bottom there's the plus sign over there so once you tap that you create a blank project and you see if you want it you can adjust the width and height as well of the blank project so we're gonna do OK and it takes us to this blank here and as well now we're gonna import images so we go here on the top so you can choose pictures from your library and if you want to I'm gonna I'm gonna find one from my library so I'm gonna take that one and do it like that so and then you can adjust it how big you want it as well so I make it full size and as well you can rotate the image so you can do many things with this Photoshop it's really awesome for those people they want the Photoshop portable on their tablets and it's really good on the fourth and third and fourth generation iPad with the retina display it is gorgeous and you can see here there is the tools there is the draw like and you can cut them you can copy them and you can as well copy show pointer yeah, so you can with the pointer it's really good and as well corners you can see here that when you tap corners I don't know all the features on the app I still discovering new things on this app always I discover something new so and as well now you can like do many things like you can move the the picture around you know and you can do effects you know filters as well you can adjustments you can do it in black and white it looks gorgeous you can see I'm a car enthusiast as well this is why you see a lot of my background things they are cars and especially Porsche cars I love I'm a fan of Porsche and you can do like that you can do many different things oh, do that one and you can see how many things there there's brightness contrast many different options and as well here you can see odds you can see many different filters you can as well adjust it as well so it's awesome so you can adjust it perfectly how you want it and as well you can blur the the image so if you want that and as well there is this here you can, when you press this end like button you can see there is the crop image size rotate as well fill and stroke text warp and as well other things here so you can again I, like I said before you can crop the image now you can crop it I have to get it right but yeah with two hands is better than one hand so we'll clear that off and as well you can you can make it the image size so if we tap on text you can add the text here you can see and you can choose different of types you input your text over here and you say for example Porsche I say like that return and as well you can see it's in black you can do many things with this Photoshop and as well the last button you can see it in full size so it at the, con at the corner and you can see the image in full size so yeah and yeah and you can go back if you want to for example you you've made a mistake you just you can go back and you can see and it becomes back to normal you know so it's really awesome and if you when you press back when you are when you're done with the editing you just tap on the back button and you can save or don't save so in my case I am not gonna save because I'm showing you so yeah and you will find the project over here as well you can share them at the top here you have the buttons a lot of buttons you can see like you can upload them to the cloud and as well save to the camera roll and as well share them and what else we have you can add new folders as well you can duplicate project here okay and there as well you can delete the, the the project as well 
and many other things with this application with Adobe Photoshop Touch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. So thanks for watching.